What would you say to an entrepreneur who's listening to this feeling like, oh my God, the year 2030 is like just around the corner? I have to be honest, and sometimes we have to send a shock to some people, right? Entrepreneurship is dead because you cannot actually navigate the complexities of the world that we are living in. My name is Dan Amarduk, founder of a Future Company, but also I'm a founder of Futurepreneur Society. Start creating the futures and do something today that your future self will thank you for. This is something that will happen in the near future. And then it will be only the matter of choice whether you want to become immortal or not. People are talking about how to use AI in their business. You mentioned IoT and a few things like this. What other trends or technology should we be thinking about as futurepreneurs? People are afraid of new technologies. And this is something natural because we are afraid of something that we don't know enough about it, right? This is an evolutionary reason. We are afraid of darkness. Why? Because we cannot see. We are not going to talk about money because I personally, I believe in abundance, right? So I believe that out there, there are so much resources that is enough for everybody. Just in my life, I had three major failure, which of course, all of the three was out of my control. Do you worry sometimes that this technology might cause a divide that we might end up with, say, the haves and then the have nots? When I post a photo of myself, even a lot of people post their very, very private photos. When you do that, how do you expect to have privacy? When we think about the future, we should always remember that with change comes opportunity. And you're exactly right. We've got two choices. We can either go out and embrace it and actively create a life for ourselves or guide the life around us, or we can sit back on the couch and just let life pass us by and, and play a more passive role in it.